In this playlist I'm going to introduce the 3D modeling of the radial steam engine. The radial steam engine is composed of a cylinder and a piston and a crankcase and a crankshaft. The first sub-assembly we are going to work with is the cylinder itself. It's very simple. This is a sub-assembly of the cylinder. Now let's see the explosion view of it. Nuts, washers, studs, some tubes and the best and cylinder and the cylinder lining and some flanges. They are very simple. Now let's begin to model each part in simple way and very easy to follow. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, if you liked my video, don't forget to press the like button. Now let's not waste any more time and let's begin the modeling process. First we need to model the cylinder. We do this by first choosing the top plane, sketch on it, a circle 42 millimeter. Then we go to exit route and choose 5 millimeter upwards. On this plane we're going to click on normal 2, then sketch 48 millimeter circle. Then we are going to extrude it up to 49 millimeter. As we see. Then we go to features, reference geometry, click on plane. Go to this side and click on it. You'll see all of options. All we need to do is Flip all the offset to pass through the body and make it 60 millimeter. Press OK. Click on the created plane, click on normal 2, then click sketch. Draw a 52 millimeter circle. 52. Click on extruded both base and make sure it is in the other direction. Make it 3 mm. Now we are going to do a linear pattern for this feature. First we need to specify the direction the pattern will go to. We will click on this arrow be the side of the eye icon, as you see, the drop down arrow. We're gonna click on view temporary axis. This will let the axis of the cylinder appears, as you see. We're gonna click on it, then choose a 6 millimeter spacing, 5 millimeter in instances. Don't forget to change its direction to upwards. Then we are going to hide the plane. Click on this arrow again and hiding the axis of the cylinder. Now on this plane here, we are going to sketch normal two first. You can use a normal two fast by clicking on control eight. Going to draw 42 millimeter circle first. Then this edge here, we're going to click it. And press convert entity. Then use extrude cut and cut it down to 3 millimeter. On the same plane here, we are going to create a hole 
Its diameter is 38 millimeter. Click on extrude cut and use throw all command. Then on this plane we're going to sketch. Click on this outer line here. Do convert entity. Then choose extrude. Make it up to two millimeter. Then on this plane here, click normal two. Then sketch. Create a center line. Create a line parallel to the center line. Mirror this line. Click on these two circles, press on convert entity, trim these extra parts, extrude cut it down to 2 mm. Now use this sketch, this plane sorry, click on this line, choose convert entity. This will create the buzz for a swept cut commands that we, going, that we are going to create now. Exit sketch after creating the sketch and force. The sketch will appear here. Click on the front plane, normal 2. Click on sketch, then press on this sign here, it's a section view. You're gonna need it. Click OK. Then choose line command and the draw triangle from here make sure this line is collinear to this line using smart dimension we're going to assign a 10 degree draft angle here We notice this sketch is not yet defined because of this point is not on here, but we need it on this sketch that we created on the path. So click on this point here and click on the sketch while pressing control and choose beers. Now the sketch is fully defined, now we are ready to cut sweep it. Click on swept cut command. The triangle we created is our profile. The path is the curve here. Three commands will appear down here. We choose the middle one, it's a bidirectional. We need it both sides. Click OK. Now turn off the section view. Now we have our cylinder. Now we need to assign a material. We are going to assign an aluminum 1060 alloy. Now check your drawing. It should have 103.21 grams. Make sure you assign the right material. Make sure you fold every command I used. Now after we sketch the cylinder, we are going to sketch the cylinder lining. It's very simple. All you have to do is draw and stop plane, two circles. 38 millimeter. 32 millimeter. Then we are going to extrude it to 68 millimeter.
Then on this lower side, we're going to create a chamfer. Chamfer will be one millimeter, forty-five degree, like this. Then on this plane right here, we are going to draw a sketch. The sketch will be this line, like this. And we draw a center line here. Then we are going to assign distance to it, 15.5 millimeter. Then mirror it. Then we are going to click on these edges right here and convert entity. Then we are going to frame the extra parts. Click OK until we have this sketch right here. Then we are going to cut extrude it down to 2.4 millimeter. Here now on this sketch, we are going to do a cut sweep feature. So first we need the bath. So to create the bath, we need to sketch on this plane and click on this edge right here and click convert entity. Now we have the path that we will cut it's a 10 degree draft. Now exit sketch in the front plane click on normal tool sorry click on normal tool on the front plane Click on sketch, press on section view, click OK. Now we have this section. Draw a triangle like this. Make sure this line is collinear to this line. Make sure it's 10 degree. Like this. Now click on this edge right here. Click on this sketch here. Click beers. Now the sketch is fully defined. Now exit sketch. Got feature. Click on swept cut. Now this is our profile. It will be selected automatically. Click the path. Three options here will appear. Click on bidirectional, click OK. Now exit section view. Now assign a material. We'll be selecting a cast iron material. Cast iron will be present this iron. Gray cast iron. Click apply. Close this now evaluate the mass. It's 160 grams. 160.2 grams. Save it. And cylinder lining. We are going to draw the bottom flange and the top flange of the cylinder. First, we need to sketch in the top plane a center rectangle with 50 times 70 dimensions. 50 here, 70 here. Then we need to extrude it up to 5 mm. Then on this plane, we're going to press normal to, then sketch, then draw a circle. Not in the center point of the, turn of the rectangle. It will be 42 millimeter. It will be away from this edge by 32 millimeter. Make sure this point and the origin point are horizontal. Now click on exit root cut. Now on this plane, click on normal tool, then sketch. 
then draw a circle on this side here, not this bigger side, this narrow side. Make it 6 mm. Now let it be 19 mm from the origin. 25.5 from the center of the circle by clicking on the outer edge of the hole, not this origin. Now use exit root cut, use through all. Now click on linear pattern. We, we're gonna do a linear pattern in both directions. First, we need to specify this direction by clicking on this edge. Change the spacing to be 57 mm. The instance will be 2. The other direction will be this edge. The spacing will be 38 mm. The instances will be 2. In the other direction. Click OK. Now we got all the holes very fast without any need to sketch one by one or mirror them. Now we are going to create the other two holes here. First we need to create a center line to make our job easier. Then we are going to create a circle away from this line by pressing shift by 5 mm. Then we are going to mirror it. The distance between two centers is 9.5. By pressing shift, by clicking on the circles, you can now dimension the distance between the outer tangents of the circle, 15.5. Now the sketch is fully defined and is ready to be cut. Now use exit root cut through all now we're going to make 5 mm fillet by clicking this side choosing connected to start loop click ok now change the material to aluminum 1060. Now we're going to evaluate the mass. 25.97 grams. Click on this drop down arrow. Click on save as. Name it bottom flange. Click on save as copy and continue. Don't forget to click that, okay? Save. Now on this plane, click normal to and sketch a chord to the circle, center line. Make sure the center line is vertical and has a dimension of 15.5 and is fully defined. Now exit the sketch. Click on the front plane, normal 2, then click again, sketch, draw a, a triangle, make sure it's not attached to any midpoint or something. Let this dimension be 5 mm, this angle be 10 mm, 10 degrees, sorry, 10, 10 mm, sorry. Now make this line, this point here, pierced to this line. Now the sketch is fully defined and ready to be cut. 
like on exit root cut make it mid lane like 15.5 Now click on evaluate mass properties. Its mass will be 25.47 grams. Now click on save. Name it top flange. Now let's create the cylinder head. The cylinder head is just like the top flange and the bottom flange. We create it by creating a center rectangle, 70 millimeter lens, 50 millimeter width, and extruding by five, by six millimeter. Sorry, six millimeter. Then we create five millimeter fillet. Then on this plane here, we draw a circle, not in the origin, thirty two millimeter. Away from this edge by 32 millimeter too. Make sure the center of the circle and the origin point are aligned horizontally. Now extrude it up to 3 millimeter. Now let's create this hole. Right here, like the top flange, six millimeter. Vertically, it's away from the origin by 19 millimeter. And horizontally from the center of the circle by 25.5 millimeter. Now let's cut it using features, extrude cut through all let's create now a linear pattern of this hole this first direction will be this edge the spacing will be 57 millimeter and the anastensis will be 2 direction 2 will be this edge right here spacing will be 38 millimeter Now let's create the cutout on this circle. Click on the front plane, normal to. Click on sketch. Now create a triangle like this. Make sure it is from this side, not this. Make a 30 degree with this line. Now we have this cross section. Now we are going to cut it. Execute cut through all both. Now we have made this cut out, like in the drawing here. Now we all have to do is just do a fillet here. One millimeter fillet to this whole edge here, and we create a hole here. This hole is very simple. All we have to do is two steps. The first step is to drill the hole. We drill it by clicking on hole wizard, choosing the hole type as a hole, and then choosing the standard, the ISO standard, the type of the drilling type of the hole 
is tab drill. The size will be M8 and the end condition will be through all. Now we need to choose its position, click on 3D sketch, move your cursor up to the edge of the circle, when you are moving to this edge, the center of it will appear, click on the center, click OK. Now we have drilled the hole, now we need to thread it. To the very easy way to thread is by using insert here from this arrow. Clicking on annotations, cosmetic thread. This will create a fast thread. We need to specify the edge, make sure the size is correct, M8, and click on up to next. Now we have the thread. You may ask yourself why the thread isn't there. Well, First, we create a cosmetic thread, it shouldn't appear as a normal thread, but uh, also there is an option is disabled by default in the settings, which is in document properties, detailing, you need to activate this shaded cosmetic threads, click OK. Now the cosmetic thread appears, right here. Now assign a material, aluminum, 1060 of course, now check the mass, I don't know if you did anything wrong, wrong. 59.74 grams, really easy and simple as you see. To create the cylinder head doom, we, go, we are going to create a sketch and revolve it. It's very simple, we are going to sketch it in the front plane. First, we need to sketch a center line like this, vertical center line. Then we are going to draw a line and center point arc like this. Make sure this arc and this line are tangent. Then from the end of the arc, quarter circle, create a line like this, down, to close the sketch. This distance will be 8, the arc will be 10 millimeter, and this distance will be 40 millimeter. This distance will be 6 mm. Now the sketch is fully defined. All we have to do left is just click on the center line and remove the construction geometry. Now the sketch is fully defined and ready to be revolved. Click on revolve, full space, and choose this as the axis of revolution. Click OK. Now we are going to create a thread, cosmetic thread, from this arrow, click on insert, click on annotations here, down here, click on cosmetic thread, click on this edge, make sure it is the same size, M8, up to next, then click OK. If it doesn't appear, Make sure to change the settings, document properties, detailing right here, and activate shaded cosmetic threads. Now, this is the cosmetic thread we created. Now let's change this material to brass. So brass is present in the copper alloys, of course. Now. Let's measure the mass. The mass is 89.02 grams.
In this video I'm going to create the cylinder air tube and the cylinder head spacer. They are very simple, they are just circles and extrusions. To create them we need first to sketch in the top plane, two circle in the origin point, they so have the same center. One is 5mm and the other one is 6mm. Then we go to extrude and extrude it up to 55mm. Then we assign a material to it. The material will be brass. It's found in the copper, al copper alloy section. Then we evaluate the mass. It's 4 grams. As you see. Then we click on this drop down arrow. Click on save as. Name it cylinder or tube. Click on save as copy and continue. Don't forget to choose this option. It's very important. Click on save. Then modify the boss extrude lens to 46 mm. Then click on this arrow in the tree. And click, right click on the sketch and click on edit sketch. Change the 5 mm diameter to 10 mm. Then exit the sketch. Now all we have to do is just change the material of brass to aluminum 1060. Then we're going to calculate the mass again. 6. 0.24 grams. Now click on save. Name it cylinder head spacer. Now we have the two bars. In this video, I'm going to design the stud and the doom nut and the washer to complete our assembly so to get the stud first we need to load the toolbox from here click on design library click on toolbox then click in add in now now we have a lot of standards we are going to use NC metric then we are going to click on bolts and screws, studs, then we are going to choose the double end studs. Now don't drag it into the document, we are going to right click it, create part. Then we are going to choose the size, now we need M6, the length really doesn't matter, we going to choose 80. Thread display will be cosmetic, make sure it's cosmetic, not schematic, we don't need it threaded like this. Click OK. The board will disappear, but the board already is in another window. If you click minimize, you will see the board here. It will open in properties manager. Move it to feature manager, then don't forget to save it. In sex stud. Save it in the place where you save the other parts. Now we're going to change something in this base sketch. We need 83 lengths. And we need 18 millimeter thread lens. Make sure you change the number here, not here, because here is related to this 
location, this is the equation. If you change it here, it changes here automatically. Change material to steel. Ten twenty. Now save. Now exit. Now we are going to create the doom knot. The doom knot is really similar, but it's in another standard. It's present in the den standard. Click on. Nuts. We have hex nuts cap and hex nuts cap fine bitch. We need to click on hex nuts cap. This will present as the only doomed cap nut. Right click on it, click on create board. Choose M6. Thread will be cosmetic. Leave the undercut, click OK. Now click minimize, find it here, go to feature manager. Now edit the base nut feature, see, the extrusion. Make it instead of 5, make it 6. Now assign material, steel IZ 1020, you can change its color if you want, it's up to you. Now click on save, choose a location, name it M6 Zoom. Now the final thing is the washer, we are going to draw it, we are not going to take it from toolbox. Click in the top plane, draw two circles, the first one will be 12 millimeter, the other one will be 6.4 millimeter. Now click on extrude, extrude up to 1.6 millimeter. Sign a material, IZ1020. Save it, M6 washer. After we created all the parts, now we are ready to create the sub-assembly. First, create a new assembly file. And insert only two parts for now. Cylinder lining and cylinder itself. Click on this inner cylinder of faces and press mate. This will create a concentric relation. Click on the upper planes it's two parts and create a coincident relation. Click on these planes here and create a coincident relation too. Now we're going to insert another three parts. We're going to insert the bottom flange and slender head and stop flange. Make sure this side here go with this side of the cylinder. Click concentric relate make a concentric relation. Make this plane coincident with this plane. Make this plane coincident with this plane. Now 
Create a concentric relation for the bottom flange. Make this hole concentric with this hole. Make this plane concentric with this plane. Coincidence or not concentric, of course. Now, turn the head to this direction. Make sure this cut will be inserted in this direction. So first create a concentric relation. Then move it like this. Make sure it's got to go in this direction. Create a concentric relation between these two holes. And coincident relation between these two blades. Now we're going to insert Slender head doom and the slender air tube. First, we are going to insert this part here by clicking on this circular edge and this circular edge. Click mate. This will create a concentric relation with no problems. Create on this click on this plane here and click on this plane here. Now click on this outer surface of the your tube and click on this hole, make a concentric relation. Click on this plane here and click on this plane here. Now we're going to mirror this part here to go directly to this hole. So I'm going to create a plane first. Click on this side here and click on this side. This will create a mid plane for us. Now we're going to click on this drop down arrow here. Click mirror components. Choose a component. Click OK. Now we we'll mirror it. Now we're going to insert our four final parts. Cylinder head spacer, the M6 do not, and the M6 stud, and the M6 washer. First, we are going to enter the stud to the hole. Make a distance between this plane and this plane by clicking on these two planes and click and don't forget to click here to make the distance 14 millimeter. Click on the washer. Click on this circular edge. Click on this plane, click on this plane to create a coincident relation. Click on the outer edge, outer circle edge of the knot and click on this on the cylindrical face of the washer. Click OK. Now these planes should be coincident. Now let's create Concentric relation between these two parts and the coincident relation between this face here and this face. Now we're going to linear pattern these four parts to, to each hole here. Click on linear component pattern. Choose direction 1 as this direction. Direction 2 as this direction. The components will be the nut, the washer, the 
this head spacer on the stud. The distance will be in this direction will be 38 millimeter 57 sorry 57 and the direction 2 will be 38 you can find it from the dimensions of the holes this distance now some assembly is ready Save it. Name is a cylinder. Sub assembly. <laughs> 